Good evening and welcome. It's Rob Yates here from Tetricky, and this evening I'm joined with this person who you haven't met before. His name is Mark Hopkins and he's the other co-founder in Tetricky. Tonight is number 11 Facebook Live out of 260 that we've committed to bring you in 2017. And tonight we're going to have a, a bit of a question and answer interview style thing with Mark. Um, Mark and I live about seven hours drive apart, uh, so we don't always get to spend time with each other. So it's uh, crucial for you that tonight you get the very best out of whatever craziness goes on in his head. <laughs> and, um, and today we're going to look at the critical importance of today and the difference that it can make in your business. As with ever, your ticket to the game in Facebook, like, uh, Facebook uh, Live sessions with us rather is to click like, click share, and ensure that you're a leader in your network and you're promoting this high quality information out to all of your friends. We've also got the comment section, and so if there's any questions you've got throughout the evening or over the next 48 hours, 72 hours, please write a comment in the comments box and one of us will get back to you within three or four hours with an answer to your question. And if you've got any ideas for things you'd like us to discuss about you being the very best version of you, about increasing the way your business operates, or about how you can fast track your career or manage your team or whatever it might be, please also put it in the comments box so, uh, so we can help you out with that as well. Um, so click like, click share, and the critical importance of you. Now, Mark, this is your title. It is. Today, rather. Critical it importance is. of today. today. Um, what, why is it your title? Uh, a couple of things. Uh, firstly, I uh, had a really good session with a client today who's sharing um, quite a personal story about reconnecting with a family member. And um, he was talking about the conversation was in his head was how does he get to the outcome he's looking for and the outcome he was looking for was a family Christmas lunch now it's what 17th of January Christmas is a hell of a long time away so I was chatting to him about why are you thinking about 350 odd days time why are you not enjoying the moment now enjoy that reconnection enjoy the breakfast you're having sit across somebody at the table and enjoy being present so that's what triggered the thought today was let's not miss the opportunities that are in, in front of us now because we get blinkered about the journey that we're going on. And it's something I'm, I actually bring into my, my daily life. So we've all done this. We get home, you put the keys down, the next day, the next morning you wake up, what's the first thing you think about? Where have I left my keys? <laughs> and you walk around, you go, you blame everybody else, the dog took them, the cat took them, the kid took them. It's not, you just put them in a place where you had no idea where you've left them. So getting into those habits where today is important. Doing the things, you get out of the car and you think, I need to do something. Mm -hmm. I need to put the rubbish out, but what do you do? You do everything else but the rubbish. In fact, earlier on today, somebody said to me, can you send an email to so-and-so in the next two weeks sometime to clarify whether we can go ahead with this yes or no? And I heard it, and part of me heard send the email, and the other part of me heard the two weeks. And I, I had to catch myself, because a version of me a little while ago might have gone, don't worry about it, in the next two weeks sometime. And I know that it would have got to 15 days time, and I probably still wouldn't have done it. So, and the reality is that it was a 15 to 18 word email that I just sent iPhone out there and then, dush, 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 gone. Done, Done dusted. And it's completely gone. I, I copied the person who asked me to send the email into it and asked the two people to liaise together and sort the stuff out. Um, done. So what, what you're talking about is, is also decluttering your mind. It's about getting that thing done that means you don't have to think about it again. Even though we might not be at the front of our mind, we always know that there's a task that we have to do. So the very best version of us is being distracted because there's something else we know we have to do in the future. Whereas if you get it done, at the time that you need to do it, even if you do it before you need to do it, it's out of the way. It allows you to focus on other things. And I'm not saying do everything time. We've all had those situations where you get an email. And it's an email or a, a client who says something that just winds you up a little bit. And you want to respond, don't you? But the great piece of advice I got given was write the email that night, but don't send it to the morning. Sleep on it in the morning, reread it, have a look. So it's all about about getting the balance, but it's about what we want to talk about is just doing the one thing. So we were talking with this client today, 
around the journey that this business needs to go on. And we had a discussion around the concept, concept of being impressed by and inspired by. Now we all think of people, if you think about someone that you're inspired by, mm -hmm. you would think about the things that they did. You won't always think about the things that they said. Because anyone can go and look at Google and find a nice strategy document, find a nice idea and, and say it and it comes across as theirs. But you can Google it yourself. But what's very difficult to replicate is your behaviours. Mm. And changing a business and getting your guys inspired by you takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. And it's quite a scary thing for a business owner to think about. Is how do I bring around all the changes I want to bring in a short space of time? And so if you had one piece of advice for a business owner to go about doing this? Because I mean, every business owner, a uh, person with a career who sat here now on this Facebook live session is going, well, actually, that's me. There's things I need to make different in my business, in my career, with my team over the next 12 months to live the reality of my strategy, my goal, whatever else. What would be that one piece of advice if that was all you could give? Um, I would, my, my, the simple answer would be pick one thing. Just start with one thing that you think is going to make a difference. So we all have a feeling of what we want to achieve, even if it's a financial thing or it's a creating an environment that people want to be inspired by. There's something that we're working towards. It doesn't have to be 100% defined. Mm. But think about what's the one thing that you can implement today that's going to start that journey. And it could be walking in and it could be shaking hands with everybody in your office. It could be saying, I'm now saying every Monday I'm going to buy you a coffee and then do it consistently. So your first January will be a great month. Start one thing today, start one thing. Start by saying tomorrow is Wednesday. Wednesday is me the day I buy everybody a coffee. And then do it every single week on every single Wednesday. And then the 1st of February starts, you introduce the second thing. Now guess what, we all mass 12 months in a year. By the end of the year, you've introduced 12 different things, behaviors, habits, activities into your business that you're consistently delivering. And so what we're talking about is the domino effect, where you could, uh, for those who don't know the domino effect, is um, every domino could knock over a domino that's one and a half times its size. Um, and if you started off with a domino that was five millimetres in height, after 29 dominoes, you're knocking over the Empire State Building because you're just magnifying by one and a half times each time. And that's effectively what you're talking about. What are those basic, small five millimetre sized dominoes that we're going to hit consistently, but start with one, exactly, and then build. It's taking you back to that, that story from the client today. It's not focusing on the family Christmas lunch, which is in 350 days time. <laughs> it's about enjoying the cup of coffee they're having today. It's that first domino. And only think about the first domino, because I've got a, a seven-year-old boy, as, as you well know. And he always asks me certain questions. He goes, What's, what are we going to do here? And my common response is, we'll make a plan. Like, when do we need to make a plan? We'll make a plan when we need to make a plan because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Mm. We know what's going to happen today, so let's knock that first domino on. Mm. And let's see what happens tomorrow. Now, I'm not and that's vital because a business owner could get their dream client tomorrow, in which case the, the plan they've made was a waste of time because the dream client has arrived and that's now 15 times greater. Or also, easily in this economy, you could lose your best client tomorrow in which case a whole new plan is needed and we've wasted hours today making that plan in and then having to scrap it tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. You, you need to... What we're not, it's a balance, isn't it? It is a balance. What, what we're not saying is you chop and change every single day. What mm. we're saying is the balance needs to have a common thread. So one of the best pieces of advice I got from, from my mentor was what's the thread of your CV? What's the thread of you as a person? My thread is performance. That's, that's mm. where we are. We're very we're passionate about performance. It doesn't mean we're blind into everything, but the journey we go on is aligned to performance. So your business needs to understand the rough journey it's going on. Mm. So we are going to South America. We don't know if we're going to go to Brazil, Argentina, Chile. We have no idea, but we're going to go in that direction. We don't know if we're going to, we're going to go on a cruiser. Mm. We don't know where the cruiser is going to start from, where it's going to go, what it's going to look like, but we know roughly what it's going to go down. Now, it doesn't, then you can put your clients on top, then you communicate to your team and your staff. They know roughly where they're going, but also they know that you as a leader, as a business owner, have the ability to flex and adapt based on what happens, based on that client, based on the economy, based on whatever happens. Mm. And that's where we're saying focus on today. Focus on today and lie into your thread because you can influence. You can really make an impact today. You learn from the past, you impact today, and you can influence the future. Cool. And, um, and that comes down to all the best businesses in the world 
are amazingly adaptable when it comes to their business. They see a new opportunity and they grasp it. They have an eye, I, I call it a crystal ball. Uh, they're looking into their crystal ball into the future the entire time and, and having an eye on their future and, and adapting their business and their business plans to meet the need of the consumer and the economy in, in whatever the future, future brings. Um, in, in fancy coaching words, you call that behavioral flexibility, yeah. I guess. And again, what all those businesses have in common is they have a foundation of understanding the how to get stuff done. Mm. So it doesn't make a difference what you put on top of that foundation, they know how to move. They don't have to spend three hours in meetings, they don't have to phone 500 people, they don't have to do it. And it's, that's the challenge of the businesses, is, is how do you ensure you get that flexibility? So you asked me one piece of advice, so the one piece of advice is to focus on one thing. But think about the how you're going to get stuff done and get that embedded into your business because then whatever happens in the economy, whatever happens to your clients, you just put a different what onto how you get stuff done and mm. that's where you get sustainable performance. Mm. Awesome. So we've had a little bit of a, a glimpse into the, the brain of Mark Hopkins and his passion around business performance, personal performance and, and frankly um, getting more shit done more often and, um, and really, really grasping what's in front of us here today. If today's been salient to you, please click like and click share on Facebook. Uh, Mark, are you with us tomorrow evening? I'll be here tomorrow. Perfect. Mark's with us tomorrow night as well. Uh, we haven't worked out what we're talking about yet because we haven't seen each other for a month, so we're going to work that out uh, in the next 24 hours. Um, but it's going to be better than tonight. That's my <laughs> commitment. Better than tonight. So number 12 will be better than this evening. No matter where you are in the world, have a great next 24 hours. Um, share this content with people who will be relevant to it, who will help. That's why we're doing it. And be the very best version of you. Stay awesome. Thank you, Mark. Cool. Thanks, Mark.